switching Salvatores, are you? What? Caroline, stay focused. As your friend who worries for you daily, what is the deal with you and Damon? Now that it seems pretty clear that Stefan's never coming back, um, Lena's friends are starting to step in and say, hey, wait a second, you know, what's going on there? And really starting to push at her and make her confront what's going on in that friendship. I needed one thing from you for my witch to find out why my hybrids were dying. One thing, your necklace, and you lost it. I didn't lose it, it's just been missing for 90 years. Stefan is hanging out with Klaus and Rebecca, who we of course now know is Klaus's sister and one of the originals. So what do you think? I like it. What? I said I like it. I can always tell when you're lying, Stefan. He's trying to figure out how he's going to get himself out of the situation that he has been going, getting deeper and deeper into. Jeremy. Anna! You heard me? What are you doing here? Wait, like, heard me, heard me, or did it sound more like Where a... have you been? I need to know you can hear me. You drop in, you tell me not to trust Vicky, and then you disappear? Jeremy! Tell me you can hear me. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you, all right? What the hell? Anna is starting to show up more and more, and in this episode, finally breaks through, and they get to start communicating, and that happens to coincide with the returned town of one Miss Bonnie Bennett. Jeremy. Who has been road tripping with her father, family bonding all summer, and has missed out on all of this relationship and ghostly drama and steps back into it right at a time when Jeremy is really starting to question what feelings he has for these women that he loves back, uh, you know, before he got into a relationship with Bonnie in the first place. <laughs> 